Hello and welcome to the Memory Mixer Design Studio. In this tutorial I'm going to show you new ways to use scenic or photo backgrounds. We are first starting here with a square layout and I have the um, background here by Magical Realities and it is her new summer breeze. So this background happens to come from Magical Realities paper pack and it's the soft blue wood. So you can just say OK. We'll go ahead and close our background. And now I want to show you how you could take scenic backgrounds and create postcards. So the first thing I'm going to do now is open up my edit photo. I will add a photo box. And postcards are typically more of a rectangular shape, so that seems about right. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I want to add a mat for this one. So I'll change it to size 5, say OK. I also want a drop shadow. Now I also want to include a couple of postcards, so it's like a little stack of postcards from a vacation maybe. Or So I'm just going to rotate that one slightly. And now I'm going to copy and paste. That way I know both of my postcards will be the same. And I'll just rotate that one the opposite direction a little bit. And I do want this one to be on front, so I'm going to use my layering tool and just click on that and bring to front. And now the easiest way to use a scenic background and to create a postcard, I'm just going to come here to my paper. Okay, the first postcard I'm going to use a background found in the Summer Breeze Scenes Paper Pack for Magical Realities. And you can see there's lots of fun scenes here, but I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to add it as an additional background. It comes and confirms that that's what I want to do. And now I'm going to simply drag and drop that onto my photo box. And there you go. Isn't that just a cute postcard? I'm going to do the same one for the second one here. I'm just going to come to my backgrounds again. Back to This background that I'm going to use is found in the Summer Breeze collection as well. Paper Pack 2 for Magical Realities. And it is just a single bench. It is so cute. Say OK. That's OK. You'll probably do that too. I just undo it. And now I open my paper again. And this time I'm going to add as additional background. So that warning comes up and says, are you sure you want to add this as an additional background? And you can actually turn that message off. And now I can arrange this how I want. But you see I have two postcards. I'm going to come over here to my next page and you'll see I've added a little bit of text. I've added another little embellishment from that collection that is an old ship postage stamp. Okay, so now we're just going to add a few more embellishments. I'm going to come to Add Embellishments. I'm going to come to the Magical Realities Designs category, Summer Breeze. And we are looking for some sand. They just have the neatest effect. It's just a layer of sand and water that we're going to add to the bottom of our page here. Right here, sand, water, and grass. It'll just drop on our page. I'm just going to move it to the bottom of my page. And you see how it just kind of blends in with the wood background. It just gives you a really neat um, look there. And now I can just go ahead and add my photos. Just drag and drop my photos on. I've already done that here, so I'll just show you. I also added a few more little grass embellishments. But you can see what a cute page that makes. I just really love creating those postcards using those scenic backgrounds. I've created a few more pages so you can see other ways of using backgrounds. These are photos also from Magical Realities. I don't know if you've ever been to the zoo or on vacation and you just didn't get that perfect picture. This is a great way to add some additional pictures as well as use them for a background, you will just do it the same way. Just add it as an additional background, size it the way you want. And so that's what we've done here. And Beck Holmquist is another designer and she has a lot of beautiful photos as well. They can be used as backgrounds or brought in to use with pages using the same technique as an additional background. And then you can just arrange it, crop them however you want. These here are just memories of Grandma's house, like homemade applesauce, always fresh flowers on the table, springtime in the garden. 
This is another way to capture fond memories. Sometimes we don't have a photo from a memory, but this is a great way to find a photo. Using these backgrounds as photos on a page is a great way to add a little more um, life to your page. I hope you've enjoyed these tips on how to use the scenic and photo backgrounds as photos or creating postcards, etc. on your layouts. Thanks for stopping by and we look forward to seeing you next time. Happy mixing!